Well, they say patio season is upon us. I don't, I don't know if that counts as this morning, but it is time to elevate your mixologist skills. One way to spice up your cocktails and mocktails is with simple syrup. Simple syrups. Food blogger Lindsay Gensel is here, our good friend. She joined us from her kitchen with a few drink recipes. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Dave. I think I might have jinxed us. Yeah. Did I jinx the weather gods? <laughs> You know what? In Minnesota, it, you're always jinxing it. You know, it's like you never quite know. But that's all right, because even if it's chilly, this will warm us up. Absolutely, absolutely. So i got to give credit to every restaurant I've ever worked in, because if you've ever had a craft cocktail or even something super simple like a mojito, you've enjoyed a simple syrup. And the last year, I had to make cocktails and mocktails at home alone. And i got to tell you, it's a lot more fun when someone makes it for you, <laughs> but... I'm going to walk you through the process. All right, let's do it. What are, what are we making today? So I have a really fun spin on a blueberry simple syrup. So okay. it's fresh blueberries. So you're going to get that really lovely tart sweetness. And then I've added some cardamom in there. And cardamom is just incredibly fresh. It's incredibly bright. It's got a little citrus to it. It really screams spring. So we're going to make a violet vodka soda. All right, the violet you have all vodka your soda. Ready to go. I, and they're labeled so nicely. Thank you. Good, good. <laughs> all right, so just got a glass with a bunch of ice in there. Okay. Because I know my mother is watching, I'm going to follow the recipe. Most people don't have a cocktail lighter at home. Hi, Lindsay's mom. We're so happy you're watching. <laughs> she was a little concerned when I told her I was doing cocktails at yeah. 8:50 in the morning. Are you adding in vodka first? It's always yes. a good start. So I'm gonna add my vodka first. Love gray duck vodka, vodka it's good glass. stuff. And then, so we get that beautiful violet color at the bottom. I'm gonna add the cardamom next, uh, the cardamom blueberry syrup. So smell that, maybe taste it before you throw it in there. You can really syrup. taste that cardamom there. Hang on, I'm trying to, okay. I, I don't, are they all blueberry? <laughs> They're not labeled. All right. The purple ones are blueberry. Okay, so I add that and the cardamom in? Nope, don't add the car. The cardamom is just there for you to smell. Oh, okay. The cardamom is in the syrup already. Gotcha. I have filtered it out. Yum. Let me smell it. Oh, it's got a nice smell to it. Yeah, a nice spring. Makes you feel like you're going to be outside soon. All right, so we've got our blueberry and our vodka. What's next? Soda water. So it's just a really simple recipe. A lot of people... <laughs> Should have known that was going to happen. <laughs> Should have known that. All over your iPad. <laughs> yep. Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong with Dave cooking, it will. I'm now drinking. <laughs> so how do you make the simple syrup, Lindsay? So simple syrup is literally one part sugar to one part water. Okay. And you get it to a low boil, like a rapid simmer, and then it's going to turn into that syrup. There During that process, you start to add your ingredients. So your okay. fresh fruit you want to put in there first because it's going to need the most time to cook. Your herbs or your um, fresh cardamom, for example, those you add in at the very end because they're so bright. You don't want to have them in there the whole time or they're yeah. going to overpower it. And then how long does that boil down for? It takes between... 10 to 20 minutes with the blueberries you're adding in some more water so it is going to need a little bit of extra time to cook down um i think you have a, a sample of the lemon ginger syrup that i made i do and so you'll notice a different in texture between the lemon ginger syrup and the blueberry cardamom syrup mm. oh it's much thicker yes it is much thicker there's less water in it because I only added the juice of the lemon and those lemon rinds. So uh -huh. it isn't as watery as the blueberry cardamom syrup. And is there a mocktail as well that we're making? Yeah. Well, I'm making it here at home. You're making so it. You have the I mocktails. We have the real stuff. Lemonade. <laughs> did you spill too? Are yeah, we, I usually do. Now? Yes, I did. So don't feel bad. So I've got some fresh squeezed lemonade. And I'm just going to, down the side of the glass, give it that beautiful purple hue. Now, what's super fun about this, this is a way to get the whole family involved. If you've yeah. got kids or you've got someone who doesn't drink alcohol, there's lots of people who are uh, on the mocktail train these mm -hmm. days. You can set up different syrups and really give them the opportunity to have a fun drink without having to have alcohol. Or if it's 8.55 in the morning, also a good I time mean, for mocktails. Look at that. 
That looks great. Lindsay, thank you so much for the cool recipes. Cheers. Makes us feel like spring is getting here. Do you like it? Is it good? It's so good. All right. We it's have a so link good. to Lindsay's blog and her simple syrup recipes on care11.com. You just click on the uh, recipes on the Saturday show page and on the recipes. Or you can text the word recipes to 763-797-7215 to get a link to the recipes page.